Hello everyone, this is a special moment for me because I have received a beautiful gift from a subscriber, a viewer, a viewer from uh, the United Kingdom and this is a box with perfume decants of the Gold Essence line which was released in 2016 from the house of Ermino Gildo Zinia. He messaged me on Fragrantica and his name is Mr. Sama. Thank you so much Sama brother. I really appreciate this and it means a lot to me. These will probably go down as my most precious perfume items and uh, this is the first impressions guys i hope you enjoy this one enjoy so guys uh, today we are dealing with three uh, exclusive releases from the italian house of ermina gildo Zinia. They are not particularly popular for making perfumes. They are more into clothing business, fashion designing, suit making. They have their own materials. They produce their own materials. They produce their own uh, clothing line. And they also make material and suits for Yves Saint Laurent, Gucci and all those popular French and Italian brands. And uh, in the year 1994 or 1992, Zinia Purom was released and which was uh, their first perfume and since then they have kept on releasing a perfume here and there some of the cheaper lines including aqua di bergamotto uh, the perfume the summer freshie is very popular because it is really inexpensive and it's amazing so we are looking at a high-end line from this house now and this is the gold series so we have a very awesome decant amount of incense gold musk gold and amber gold uh, he just wanted to send me samples but brother this is really really nice Th these are almost 5 ml sam samples decants i really appreciate that because i can spend a lot of time with these fragrances and give a final verdict thank, thank you so much he's also sent me a beautiful perfume from the, from the house of abdul samad al Qureshi, which i'll be looking into later on so i've already sprayed these perfumes guys on three paper strips because i did not want to waste your time and uh, I, I don't believe in the concept of spraying a fragrance right there and then reviewing it because I need my time with, the, with those fragrances. The alcohol needs to evaporate and then uh, you need to spend some time at least in the top and the heart to really be able to judge a perfume. So the first one that we'll talk about is Amber Gold. Let me read out the notes to you. Uh, if you go to Fragrantica, you won't see uh, the proper breakdown of notes. All right, it's too brief. I'll give you the official notes here. So, Amber Gold has Xenia Bergamot, which may be their signature, their uh, some maybe a bergamot, uh, which a bergamot oil which they have distilled from uh, their farm, and uh, they have rose here, geranium, saffron, incense, davana. Davana is basically a variety of Artemis Artemisia. Artemisia, you know, wormwood. It's also used to produce absinthe and Artemisia. Balance, I guess, is Davana, which is uh, an aromatic herb and it gives out a fruity, uh, uh, slightly woody odor, sweet odor to fragrances. It's used a lot in perfumery. Then we have lavender, we have ambranum. Ambranum is basically a synthetic molecule which uh, smells like labdanum. So, amber and labdanum. All right, it's got a sweet, musty tone to it. It's very popular in perfumery. It also has also shares some vibes of ambergris so it's used widely then we have some benzoin from siam which is nothing but a resin which gives out an incensey smell we have vetiver we have cyst we have sandalwood patchouli castorium and musk so when i sprayed the fragrance on it really smelled beautiful in the air it's almost been 30 minutes since i sprayed this one and the air around me was immediately uh, smelling of something really special something unique something really nice this line is only available in 125 mls and it's uh, odi toilet in concentration uh, they have a lot of perfumers really nice popular respected perfumers doing their essence line. so guys you must go and sample these and this is also their most popular in this series out of the three amber gold is the most popular on fragrantica it's got a lot of love from pe from people some people praising it really off the roof and it actually smells really beautiful guys so it starts off as 
geranium large doses of geranium there's a touch of rose there's a powderiness to it probably coming from the davana and the lavender the amber note is sweet it's really really refined it's ultra refined it's like a fresh amber it's not dusty musty very deep thick or resinous i don't like my fragrances which have too much amber i love tom ford's amber absolute but i find it really difficult to wear it on a regular basis i have a small decant of that and also the popular opus 6 from the library collection of amouage it's a beautiful perfume but i find that musty amber a little difficult on myself it's basically labdanum this one is an upscale amber, really upscale and probably they've designed this to go with their uh, luxury clothing line and this would suit a man or a woman who's wearing a really nice dress, an expensive dress. This would smell really great, very, very refined. I get some spiciness, some cedar-like effect from it. It may later, down, uh, later on settle down with uh, the sandalwood and the heavy molecules like vetiver at this moment i'm absolutely loving this one a beautiful perfume a huge departure from your regular musty deep thick tobacco like ambers it's spicy it's it's resinous it's incensey enough but highly wearable and lovable let's move on to the next perfume that we have here and this is incense gold i'll quickly read out the notes to you i love incense and uh, i'll be doing a video on incense pretty soon now as soon as i sprayed incense i was reminded of a fragrance guys i am really sure that uh, in my final impression i will uh, I, I i'll i'll tell you which fragrance this is really uh, trying to mimic it's very very close to one fragrance that i have in my collection and i can i, I just cannot pinpoint my finger uh, at it at this moment but i really really am close a fragrance with sandalwood cedar something like that i have a fragrance of this sort and it smells very very close so this is not something unique but i'll tell you the notes uh, incense gold has the zinnia bergamot italian cypress uh, cypress italian lemon jasmine sambac lotus flower saffron sandalwood cardamom incense they've not specified which incense they are using now there are a lot of incenses and uh, i hope my video will really help you guys there's musk there's cypriol there's pepper there's ginevra which is nothing but juniper uh, this is the french word for juniper which is ginevra they also make gin from it so that's uh, something which you need to be aware of and there's leather and there is a beautiful leather note in this fragrance this leather is an upscale leather a really refined uh, you can say a very rich, smart, handsome sort of leather. This is not your typical animalic tan leather sort of fragrance. This is petroleum washed leather and it's, it's a beautiful note. It's going really well with the other ingredients. There's something uh, spicy, lemony, which is typical of frankincense. So it's probably olibanum, which they have used, but it's a very refreshing note. It's uh, very atypical of a frankincense, atypical uh, frankincense note here. I think it's a beautiful fragrance. There's the bergamot is quite prominent in this one, which gives out that refreshing, uh, sparkly feeling. It's it's really refreshing, and the leather is beautiful. But it's very similar to uh, one of the fragrances that I have in my collection, and I'll definitely be able to nail it. This is top quality stuff, but it's not unique. Let's move on to the third fragrance quickly, and this one is the most hated of the lot from what i've read on fragrantica i need to spend my time with this and this is musk gold the notes are black pepper saffron coriander moroccan cedar wood carrot seed and myrrh there's patchouli there's leather and there's oud so this is going to be heavy oriental there are no floral notes there are no sweet notes here and uh, it's all resin incense spice coriander there's saffron and you get that very prominently here the black pepper is very sharp and as soon as you spray this fragrance on paper on skin guys i won't advise you to spray this fragrance on skin you need to spray it on paper first because this smells really really musky dirty animalic powerful overwhelming overbearing those are some of the adjectives that come to uh, my mind it's not velvety 
it's not warm it's not uh, enveloping which is typical of a nice musk note it's probably a synthetic musk it does not have a lot of character it's not pissy like civet or as uh, uh, dirty as castorium but this is definitely not a beautiful musk but it's very close to an undiluted musk that's what uh, this is so they probably wanted to grab the attention of the musk lovers this is definitely musk lover stuff i get a slight myrrh sweetness sweetness of myrrh from this it's incensey ambery something like ambergris there is slight woodsiness to this it's piney woody sweet and it's animalic there's the the, the 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 musk has actually settled down it's almost been 30 40 minutes now so the musk has settled down but this is not something which is very impressive at the moment so the my favorite out of the three is amber gold it is absolutely beautiful you must sample this fragrance then there's incense gold at number two and then we have uh musk gold i'm i'm really not liking this one at the moment i'll spend some time with it and come back uh, with a final review pretty soon i hope you enjoyed this review guys and we'll be back for more join me on sunday for a special review take care bye bye